Hey, what's up, Cyber Heroes? Boyd Clueless checking in for 2022. And this is going to be an exciting episode of Don't Be an IT Guy because what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to break into cybersecurity with no experience. Yes, I really said that. How to break into cybersecurity with no IT experience. I'm going to break it down for you in this podcast. So if you stay tuned and you listen and you take notes, then you could be in cybersecurity in the next few months. So let's jump right in. If you're new, you've never listened to me, you never heard me, let me introduce you to who I am real quick. I'm Boyd Clueless. I'm an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, author, speaker. I've been featured on ABC, NBC, CBS News, and Forbes. I help IT professionals become cybersecurity specialists so they can earn six figures with no certifications. Check that out. All right, so let's jump right in. So before we go into how to break into cybersecurity well, without any IT certifications, we got to set a baseline and I need to talk about some myths. I got to debunk some myths real quick. So let's start. Now, this is what I want you to do real quick. I want you to nod your head and agree as I'm telling you this stuff because I'm sure you've heard of it. All right, number one, in order to get into IT or cybersecurity, I need IT certifications. Shake your head. Yes. Number two, if I don't have IT certifications, I need a college degree. Shake your head. Or maybe you heard I have a college degree, so I don't have IT certifications, so now I can't get in. Nod your head and agree. Yep, yep. So what if I told you all those things were wrong? Okay, okay, okay. When, when I make statements like that, it brings out the hate. So let me clarify. Let me clarify. It's not that it's wrong. It's that it's not the only path. You see, the industry, the IT industry is built on this foundation of certifications in education that companies are making billions of dollars off in, pr in promising young professionals, old professionals, that you're going to grow your career if you get this piece of paper. But that's not the reality. As a business owner myself and establishing my career, I realize that the career growth and the income that you want to achieve is not achieved by paper, but it's achieved by adding value to companies. The better you are in your job, the better you perform, the more value you give to the company, the more money you're going to make, which has nothing to do with certifications or anything like that. All right. So let's go into number two. Here's the hidden truth. And I blame Hollywood for this. Oftentimes, when you think of cybersecurity, chances are you're thinking of somebody doing some hacking, not an agree, right? They're, they're hacking into somebody's computer. They're hacking somebody's bank account or doing something like that, right? That's one of the first pictures that used to pop in my mind when I thought about cybersecurity. And because of that, I was apprehensive about taking this career step because I'm like, I don't have skills to go and hack stuff, all right? So maybe it's not hacking. Maybe you see the cybersecurity guy in your head or what your picture is. You see them writing tons of lines of code and everything. Nod and agree, right? Right? But all that is, it's not necessarily wrong, but again, it's not the only way. You see, what the IT industry and many of these companies that are out here selling people into taking courses to get certification so they can quote unquote grow their career fail to mention one major important thing. And when I tell you this, a light bulb is going to go off in your head. If everybody working in cybersecurity was a hacker or a coder, who would manage the projects? Who would validate that the coders actually did the right thing? Who would write the policies, the procedures? Who would manage the hackers and the coders? Who would create the documentation that needs to go to the executives so they understand financial forecasts and the spending of the cybersecurity department? Do you see where I'm getting at? Who would validate that the IT professionals or the cybersecurity professionals are following company standards? Who would do that if everybody was a hacker or a coder? Then it would be nobody. But yet and still, the industry and all these other companies out there that are selling people on these IT certifications just fail to mention this thing to everybody, leaving a huge gap 
in the industry that you could walk right into. So just to give you some specifics of those roles that I was talking about, you have like IT managers, compliance managers, business analysts, um, as, as well as internal auditors, security auditors. All these roles actually fall into cybersecurity. So my recommendation is find an entry level role as an internal auditor so that you can understand security frameworks or compliance analysts, so you can understand how to relate company policies into business processes. And while you're doing that, you'll be in position to audit policies, procedures, and computer systems. Your knowledge will grow as you perform this work. And so then, what, what most people don't realize is these compliance roles, these auditor roles, they pay way more than help desk roles, way more. Without having to be on the phone, getting yelled at by unappreciative customers who don't know what they're doing, so they're transferring their frustration over to you. I lived that life for years. I lived it for years. So fact check me. You can go to um, Indeed.com. You can go to LinkedIn.com and look for jobs, IT auditor, compliance analyst, business analyst. These roles fall into cybersecurity and it is your quick ticket in, all right? So the next thing that I wanna give you is the promised land. I gave you some general information on type of roles that you can go to, but now I wanna go very specific. I went from the help desk to becoming the security architect for American Airlines and eventually a consultant and starting my own firm because I learned this one non-technical framework and it's called the PCI DSS. That is Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. This is a standard that all companies must follow if they store, process, or transmit credit card data. It's an international standard, so think about this you know how many companies accept credit card payments, right? So think about all the companies that need to comply with this. And if they don't comply and there's a breach that occurs, they will be fined millions of dollars. Don't believe me? Fact check me. Look at data breaches containing credit card data. Target lost over 40 million cards and they were fined a lot more than $40 million. It was somewhere around 300 million, I believe. But this industry, understanding this framework, it's 12 requirements and hundreds of sub requirements. But when you can understand this framework and help the business translate these requirements into actionable items that they need to do to maintain compliance, you become so invaluable because this isn't one of those things that's talked about a lot. There's all these unfilled jobs that are being left there because nobody's talking about this and nobody knows how to do it. Wide open industry. In fact, that's what I do inside of my training academy. I teach IT professionals or aspiring IT professionals how to master this cybersecurity framework so they can transition into high paying cybersecurity careers without needing certifications or college degrees because they're walking in as specialists. So that's it guys. I hope that you got some value from this episode because we're gonna keep this coming. As a matter of fact, every month, Every month, I'm going to hit you with a new podcast that is going to give you some insight to take your career to the next level, and I'm calling it the Growth Series. I probably should have led with that, but it, it just came to me to tell you now. So we're going to talk about how to establish your career, how to grow your career, and how to maintain it. Now, I'm not going to give you any theory. I'm going to give you the exact steps, the exact things that I learned that helped me get to where I am and what's helping hundreds of people be transformed inside of my company, the Baxter Clueless Training Academy. So that's it for this episode. I will see you next month on the next one.